Uh, so we can go ahead and get started. Uh, sorry about the fact that this had to be moved from last week to this week because we had our winter get everybody together and exchange ideas session, which is really good. And lots of good things came out of it, which in the fullness of time, you will all get to see and hear about. Um, let's see. We have... Two maintenance viewers in flight, one with rendering changes and one without. Uh, we have Project Alex Ivy, the 64-bit. We are proceeding on three fronts with that. One is a, uh, a major update to the process management and how we do viewer updates. The second is getting Havoc support in for the Mac and building the Mac with Xcode 8. And the third is uh, a new a rework and new update, somewhat new structure for doing uh, CEF and VLC. So for the new media support. And that will bring all the platforms up to the same version of CEF that across the board, and will remove the explicit support for QuickTime from uh, the Mac build. Um, some QuickTime things may end up working anyway because VLC might pick them up, but uh, no promises. You know what the you know what the party line on QuickTime is. Um, so whichever of those three things, gets through QA first, and they are all trying hard to get into QA right this minute, uh, will come out. If two of them get through QA close enough together, we'll, we'll merge them and, and put them out. Um, so uh, that's, all, that's all good, and uh, we're still very optimistic about Project Alex Ivy. Uh, the 360 snapshot viewer is on hold pending the CEF work in the 64-bit viewer. So once that stuff is completed um, and we're up to the latest versions and we're happy with how our whole build train works for that, then we'll get back to working on the 360 snapshot stuff and we'll try to wrap that up as quickly as we can. Um, so that's that. Uh, and um, I think that's most of the big news. Um, oh, we are starting on development. You will probably see bits and pieces of it appearing in repositories. We are starting on development to move more stuff to loading through using HTTP and the CDN. Uh, Veer is doing that project now, uh, and it's going to be, what, landmarks, gestures, animations, and sounds. Is that the right list? Uh, also wearables, that's um, clothing wearables. and body parts. Right. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be reworking the code that loads that. All of those things are currently loaded over the old UDP-based protocols. Um, and will now be loaded over HTTP and therefore will flow through the CDN uh, and hopefully therefore be vastly quicker and more responsive uh, and better for everybody. Um, at some point after those changes have been deployed for sufficient length of time for everybody to have gotten those updates, we will remove support for the old UDP protocol for those things in the simulator so that the simulator is not doing that anymore. Because simulators should be simulating, not copying files back and forth. So uh, there will be a not backwards compatible change at some point in the, in the future. Um, we'll give you lots and lots of warning. Yes. Well, we're we're right. The whole the whole point is to keep on 
uh, keep on taking things out of the simulator that don't need to be there. Um, there was, just for historical reasons, there was an, an awful lot of stuff that was put into the one simulator process because it's what we had, but now we're doing a much more distributed design, which has much, we think, has better performance characteristics. So... Yeah, there, there's lots of things. You know, position object updates, position updates, all those things will still continue to use UDP, things for which it's appropriate. But but all of the things that are basically just file transfers, we're going to move to HTTP. So, or at least as many of them as we possibly can. So um, that's all happening. Um, and you'll be seeing a a viewer update. We we have a we, we have a simulator that has the new cap. We have the support being deployed for um, actually fetching the assets through the CDN, and uh, we have to make the corresponding viewer changes now. So you'll get those viewer changes as part of a future update. Uh, and let me see. I think. I think that's all I've got right now. So, floor's open. See, so, yeah, Beck's got a question from the local office. Do we have any dates, times for either love me render or non render main? Uh, depends on how well they do in in uh, the the RCs. So no, not really. Uh, they're pretty new. Um, let me look at the reports we have on them now. So the non render main. That's out there now. Uh, only has thirty-four thousand hours on it, which is not a big number. Um, it's doing quite well, given that uh, it's got a slightly better crash rate than release, but that's still too small a sample to be uh, definitive. Uh, if it keeps that up, it it could be you know week or two, but. Uh, but I'm not sure what other issues there might be with, with that that have to be. I don't have it on, in front of me right now. The two that uh, you mean might the two maintenance branches combine? Um, wildly unlikely. The whole point of moving rendering changes to their own their own fork was to keep them from slowing other things down. Um, the Love Me Render maintenance branch is not doing as well as the other one. Uh, it's just much harder to make maintenance changes, so we've, we've put them in their own stream now so that they don't get in the way of other things. Uh, 413, you see what that is? Script running status lost when logged out during forced teleport. What? Yeah, well, we've imported that. I don't see any work having been done on it yet, but because uh, I know we've got a sim crasher that's higher priority than that at the moment.
Um, the yeah, our general rule is that we like to see two weeks of of good behavior on a on a release candidate, um, which usually works out to something around a hundred thousand hours. Um, but even if its crash rate is good, if there's some other bug that it has reintroduced or some other regression, then we, we might not promote it. Uh, Um, well, let me see what's in, what's in that maintenance branch. Uh, my, I, mean, I don't think that one has anything very dramatic in it. That would be this one. Yeah, well, you can see the notes, the release notes for that. Uh, I mean, it's a fair number of things, but it's not, I don't know. I don't know whether you should wait for it or not. Um, yes, I am doing testing on the voice updates now. Um, there's a problem with position updates not working correctly. Um, so that voices don't, uh, basically, unless you're facing east, voices don't appear to come from the correct direction. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <That's a nice laughs> <one. laughs> yeah uh and as soon as and i'm 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 working on that one myself actually and trying to figure it out uh, as soon as i have a fix for that then we'll put that one in a you know out as a at least as a project viewer if not a release candidate yeah Uh, so I, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I have no way of knowing how long that might take. It's because I don't have, really have any idea what the bug is yet. I just know what the symptom is. Uh, so trying to trying to sort that out. Jess isn't here, but you know she's going to watch the video. And if I don't ask if there's any been any progress on uh, possibly lowering the volume for music on the Linden Lab viewer, um, I'm uh, going to get slapped. The <clears throat> subject has not come up lately, uh, other than just now. Okay, it's just because when we get new users coming in on the Linden Lab viewer. Uh, we could turn the stream off, but as you know, it's a big part of Second Life, and uh, th they can't hear squat. Uh, yeah, unless unless there's unless that got tucked into the main branch, which you can search as easily as I can. Um, I don't believe it's happened. Correct, back. <laughs> Jess would have been here the last Friday bringing it up, that's for sure. Yeah. So we do, We I didn't move any of the subsequent meetings, so we do have one again next week. So maybe we'll be able to give you another update. Uh, oh, one other thing, uh, Monday is a Linden holiday, so anything you would normally expect to be doing that involved Linden's won't be happening on Monday. <laughs> well, hopefully not. Uh, I mean, 
ops and support will still be on, but uh, we won't be making any changes. Um, I, I, I do have something else that's not directly related to uh, the third part okay. viewers. Okay, go for it. Um, on the gateway, we tend to wind up having to uh, ban a significant number of people. You mean on the gateway, on the, on the region? Yeah. The, on your welcome region? Yeah. Not, not the orientation island, which is the, learn, the our equivalent of your learning island, but when they leave okay. that. Okay, we've got the six regions. We run into a, a, a fair number of um, people who are coming in just to troll or grief. Uh, you, you know, it's like, right. Um, and in order to be able to uh, help the new resis, we need to clear those people out. And a lot of them we wind up having to ban. As a result, our ban list gets very large. Yeah. We have uh, heard a lot about overly large ban lists lately. It, yeah, and we we spent uh, five hours total with some breaks. So say we spent four hours, and we cleared uh, the non-critical off our band list. It took us four hours to clear 175 people because you can only see four names at a time, and it's a real pain in the posterior to uh, scroll through to actually find names. Uh, is there any chance that if we filed a JIRA, we might be able to get some changes there? Well, if what you w want to suggest is, uh, so I assume we're talking about the basically the region. The estate tools, yeah. It, yeah, the estate tools. Um, uh, I... I I definitely see the, the the issue, and we've had a lot of discussion about the issue lately. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, at the moment, I don't have a long, long ban list on mine, so on this one, so it's not a not a big deal for me at the moment. But the um, uh, I think the most useful thing there would be to start a, a, a slightly broader discussion about how to improve that interface as a as a general thing, right? I mean, should those really be managed as four little tiny boxes on a on a great big, you know, all on the same floater? Uh, or should maybe we have a separate thing that can be opened that has better scrolling and searching capability, that kind of thing? Um, Happy to have that conversation because, uh, but I would suggest that we that we have that conversation um, uh, at at the moment. It can't, but that is a feature we'd be open to talking about, Kitty. Yeah. So. Uh, I, what I'd suggest is that, um, you know, if this is something that's causing you pain, uh, let's collaborate on a better interface. And uh, if you can find somebody to do some of the work, that will dramatically accelerate how soon we can integrate it. Okay. Um, anytime you've got available to talk about it, I'll be happy to sit down and uh, run through a bunch of ideas. Well, there's my regular Wednesday morning that. meeting. Wednesday morning? Okay. Yeah. So that's exactly what that one's for. Great. I will do my best to be there Wednesday morning. Cool. That'd be great. Uh, that's 7 a.m. Second Lifetime. No problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, we've got a few things that people are working on as open source contributions. We're happy to keep 
taking uh, taking more in, and especially you know UI improvements is um, not a dramatic problem to get approved these days. Uh, and in in general, we've had a lot of discussion. I mean, we just I told you we just had our our big meeting, uh, our good big winter get together and exchange ideas meeting, and actually. Uh, you know, good things for estate managers and and estate owners um, was a significant part of this this meeting's discussions. We we spent quite a bit of time on on that set of topics. So uh, it's uh, that's that's all happening, and there are there are a number of projects in flight that at, at various stages from conceptual speculation to actual testing uh, that will hopefully make their way out to the to the grid uh, over the next few quarters. Karana, uh, I'd suggest you throw your question out and Alt will, uh, Oz will simply say yes or no. <laughs> I found it pretty effective. <laughs> uh, I am the very last person in all of Linden Lab that you should ask anything about Sansar of, because I don't know, and I go to a lot of trouble to to preserve that ignorance. Uh, I am one hundred percent focused on making Second Life better. That's my job, and. Basically, I don't look at what's going on with Sansar much. I do occasionally, you know, get tricked into watching demos, but uh, and some of those are really cool. I got to admit, some of them are really cool. But uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know anything about Second Life or Sansar dates. Hard enough pinning them down to second life dates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm not big on publishing dates. I'm big on publishing things that are done. Yeah, because if you publish a date, then it usually comes around and bites you on the butt. Right. It's there's just no real upside. Uh, let's see. Um, we, we talked a little bit ago about, uh, people should verify their emails. They really should. We are actually starting to work on projects that will eventually result in various kinds of emails not being sent unless the, the email is verified. And I should and we'll be putting something in the message of the day about this pretty soon, I think, if it's not already there. Um, I should emphasize that the fact that you are receiving email does not mean that you have a verified email address. It just happen means that yours happens to work. And that's good. It means it'll probably be really, really easy to make it a verified email address. You just have to go push the button. Uh, it's in the rotation for firestorms. Uh, oh, good. We have done a blog post, and Anara, Anara did a blog post as well. Yeah, I saw. It, so. I saw hers. I missed yours, I guess. But well, um, we point. We basically pointed to hers uh, because okay. she did a great blog post on it from our perspective. Yeah, yeah, it was it was excellent. Uh, so, but we are actually starting work on some of the projects that will that will change the rules about what we send. Uh, so we'll kind of be doing it as one 
one sender at a time, but uh, at some point, you'll stop getting email. So uh, it'll be interesting. I, I haven't looked at the numbers. We actually have a graph somewhere of what percentage of active users have verified emails. And it was really low uh, when we first set that up. Good question, mister. Um, it is something we have thought about. Um, in fact, we've done it at one point. We uh, we did an experiment at one point that uh, that did it. Um, and we will probably redo that experiment and see what effect it has. Um, so it's possible. No, no one as at this stage we don't have any plans to require verified email for Second Life. Um, I qualify that because I have no idea what Sansar might or might not be planning. Um, the uh, but what will be true is that if you have not verified email, then the various services that involve sending you email won't work. They won't even try to send you email. So you won't be able to turn on IM to email. If you're a merchant, you won't get marketplace notices, that kind of thing. Uh, the change is because one of the reasons why email from Second Life is unreliable is that we have lots and lots of bad addresses in our database. Many of them bad because they're just old. Many of them bad because somebody deliberately gave us a bogus email address. Um, but we keep trying to send to those addresses um, for various reasons from time to time. And that results in ISPs seeing and spam monitoring services seeing that secondlife.com is the source of many, many failed deliveries. And so they... Uh, so a lot of them will blacklist us from time to time, and that's why our email is unreliable. That's the biggest single reason why email from us is unreliable. So in order to get to the point where we can make it more reliable, and there are other things we need to do to improve that, but and that we're planning to do. Um, but the biggest single thing we need to do is improve the quality of the addresses that we're attempting to send to and by pruning out the ones that are no good. So that's what why the verification is needed. Uh yeah, there are lots of things we we might we might do. Um uh multi-factor authentication is something we've talked about. Um, we aren't ready to do it yet, but we might add it at some point in the future. Um, Os, since you're talking about the verification stuff on this, is it possible to get some kind of um, verification process to stop 13-year-olds from getting on to moderated in adult regions? I'm asking um, this because we've got an issue with a young lady coming on to the Silks region that is 13 years old. Uh, you're, you're outside my area at that point. That's not a tech issue. It's a governance issue, and I really can't deal with it at all. Ah, okay. Thanks, Oz, because it's a problem, and it does need, a, need to be addressed. Uh, I understand the nature of the problem, but that's really all I can say about it. Right. Abuse reports and support requests are are good things.
yeah, there's there's a real sort of social technology set of problems around who's who and how old is who and so forth. Uh, that's a good question. Will a non-verified email prevent password reset? Maybe. We haven't gotten to that one yet. And actually, that particular one wouldn't be my team. Everything that has to do with uh, account creation and passwords and other kinds of personally identifiable information, um, to use the phrase from the compliance world, um, is all happen is all handled by a separate team. Yeah, I it might might well be. Um, any uh but I just don't know. I like I said, that's that's a different group. I'm pretty sure if it was a relatively simple way to do it, it would have been done already, to be honest. Yeah, we'll, we're pretty much always fiddling with and uh, doing experiments with how the account creation and join flow process works, and we'll probably be doing quite a lot more of that just because it's 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 an area we'd like we'd like to be more efficient. Actually, it's not Kitty, but you might have done it uh, uh, in your sleep. I know I've done things like that before. Um, Lucy, go to the P 
page where you change your email on your on secondlife.com and there will be a button you can push. I'd have just said read the blog post, but Oz is nicer than me. <laughs> Okay, well, if we're done, I have more voice testing to do. And we want voice fixed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this voice, next voice update has some nice fixes in it. If we could just get some of the problems oh. stalled. Oh, is the new voice fixes going to be supporting the voice morphing technology? Uh, well, that's just supported already. It should continue to work. Well, that's what I was asking. Is that going to continue to work? As far as I know, Because I'm hoping yeah, it sure. gets broken. What? <laughs> uh, as far as I know, it's going to continue to work. Uh, sorry, we don't have any plans to break that one yet. Dang it! I mean, that, that's essentially no work for us. We just pass stuff to Vivox and they run the filters up there. Yeah, that... That, that's one function I wish y'all really would break because it gets really kind of old when people start accusing you're talking with your normal voice. People accuse you of using a voice morpher. Oh, well. Yeah, you know, that's just. Well, maybe you should use a voice morpher and then, uh, you know, at least I be did, criticizing I did that you for not doing came, it. It came out, I, I did that once. It came out sounding like. Um, Minnie Mouse or a chipmunk? Well, there's lots of choices, right? I mean, you could use one of the ones that that you know, distorts your voice in some now. weird robot way, or uh, the the. But my favorite is the demon. Anyway, thanks, Oz, and uh, uh, thanks for the update. We'll see you uh, next time we see you. Yeah, see you next week. Bye. Yeah, and I'll spit out of here real quickly. Of course he does. <laughs> he's not silly. Nope, he's not silly at all. I really wish they would break that voice more. For... I really wish they would break it. All right. I'm out of here. See you all later, folks. Poof.